Hello everyone, Adam here, and today I'll be discussing Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This will be a short impressions video, and my full written review will be on NoobFeed.com. Now on to the video. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is a reboot of the 2007 franchise that set the standard for multiplayer progression and kicked off the whole military shooter craze. A system that is still being used today. This reboot is what you would expect from a Call of Duty game. Let's talk about the single player first. The campaign's narrative follows a generic military adventure as you attempt to stop a global conflict by locating a deadly weapon that is now in the hands of a radical group. If you played Call of Duty games in the last 5 years, you'll predict what's going to happen from start to finish. However, where Call of Duty Modern Warfare shines is in its tone and technical achievements. Graphically, the game is extraordinary. Often I was floored at the visuals with lifelike character models and incredible use of lighting. You can literally count the hairs on Captain Price's beard. The tone was also exceptional, with Call of Duty Modern Warfare depicting the realities of real warfare by using extremely unsettling and often morally dubious actions. It's clear the developers took their time to properly convey and construct situations where your actions were constantly being tested, with Captain Price often making dark decisions for the sake of the mission. The gameplay complements this by often showing the player graphically performing very difficult actions and placing you in difficult situations. Throughout the 5 hour campaign, you'll venture throughout Europe and the Middle East taking on a variety of missions. Most of them are high action situations that followed in the footsteps of recent Call of Duty games, but occasionally you'll engage in the better special operations. These intense missions have you clearing out floors of homes in close quarter combat. While these missions are scripted, the first time experiencing them are absolutely extraordinary as you have to make quick decisions to determine who is hostile and who is not, and often the decision is very ambiguous. As a longtime fan of this series, the shift to realism was definitely refreshing. Yes, a lot of these situations left me shocked, but the execution of these events was so well imp implemented that despite the stale story, Modern Warfare left a lasting impression on me, something this series hasn't done since Call of Duty 4. After completing the campaign, there is a cooperative mode to take part in. These are very basic missions where you kill hordes of enemies and complete simple objectives. Kill this target, defend this area, and so on. The issue with this mode is that it relies heavily on artificial difficulty. Instead of creating challenging situations like in the original Modern Warfare Special op Operation mode, the entire mode focuses on throwing large amounts of enemies at you in all directions. And since it's part of the story and takes place after the events of the main game, I can't say that it's the low point of the entire narrative. So let's move on to multiplayer. The multiplayer for Modern Warfare is different from the more recent games in terms of map design. Instead of using the three lane system that most players have become accustomed on and focus on smaller maps, Modern Warfare decides to go against it instead of focusing on more chaotic map design with less symmetry. Coupled with a longer time to kill and a larger map makes the entire experience very fickle. It already has the fan base polarized and I'm personally on the fence. I'm not a fan of the larger maps, especially seeing that more players have adapted to camping in response to this new focus, especially when amplified with the return of kill streaks instead of score streaks. You can use score streaks, but it takes up a specific perk and you can only access it at a certain level. A major issue that a lot of people aren't talking about for some reason is the spawning system. Despite the larger maps, Infinity Ward has done an absolutely terrible job with the spawn system. Already players have found effective ways to spawn trap entire teams. The leveling system is the same. You earn experience by killing players, finishing matches, and completing objectives. Each new level earns you weapons and gear, with the weapons having their own leveling system that unlocks new att attachments and cosmetics. There are classes, but unlike Black Ops 3 and 4, these are merely cosmetic with the exception of unique takedown animations. It's relatively the same progression system. What's strange is that the player is now limited to only 3 daily challenges for some reason instead of having access to a multiple of challenges. In addition, you can only select one mission which offers a variety of challenges at a time. I don't understand why this is a thing, but it limits the amount of experience one can gain. 
The multiplayer is definitely different and has already polarized the fan base, with some liking the new changes and others are incredibly frustrated. I'm in the middle and I kinda like the new longer time to kill situation as it prevents players from snowballing and becoming even more frustrated with the terrible spawning system. I'm serious, why didn't anyone pick up this spawning system? Overall, I was satisfied with Modern Warfare. The game's campaign had a lot of incredible moments during very specific situations. However, the overall narrative is the same military story I've heard from various other games, not only Call of Duty, but Battlefield as well. The multiplayer is a depart departure from more modern Call of Duty games. I especially love how it used realism as a way to convey its story. Even though the narrative was weak, the overall presentation of the game was absolutely exceptional. The multiplayer was a departure from more recent Call of Duty games, but the technical issues involved in the spawn system are simply unacceptable at this point. For a game that comes out almost every year, this issue always comes up when the game launches and it's something that needs to be addressed. So those are my thoughts on Call of Duty. If you want to read my full written review, it's on noobfeed.com. You can also tell me how my review is wrong in every way possible. And well, that's the video. Till next time everyone, stay awesome. Quite a bit, sir.